I think these two are going to be best friends, don't you? Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Gates RCF Buffa and Tycoon set. So here we are, and there they are. Technically, it, 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 there's there's two people there, but first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have Buffa, we have Tycoon on this side, we have Tycoon on this side, we have Buffa up top. We have some revolve change going on here on the back. Obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Apparently, we're going to get uh, Punk Jack and Nago at some point. Warning: Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the bottom, we have. So sorry, but this is the power of Sad Pac-Man. That's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the Buffa and Tycoon set. And yes, you are getting two writers for the price of one. And we're starting off in uh, Buffa mode here. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his abs, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. It's a nice detail there for the helmet. Looks quite nice. You got the orange there behind the transparent plastic. You got the horns. Nice purple going on there. You even got kind of the, you know, the, the hair in the background, in the background, in the uh, in the back of the helmet, which is technically the background. You could say, you know, hey, words, things. I know them. You got nice purple and orange in there. And this section is done in gray. We got some different shades of purple going on. And here we can see the zombie rays buckle as well as the ninja rays buckle. Again, no paint on them, but nicely detailed. They would look so much better if they had paint on them. But again, it's the budget gimmick line. It is what it is. You can see the nice green here for the uh, the ninja portion. Got the little shuriken there on the side. You got the big old claw there done in orange. You got the little side piece here which just plugs onto the uh, the holder on the side of the belt. And moving up the back, not too much to talk about except for Tycoon's head. Tycoon's head is just hanging out back there. We'll see that a little bit later. But yeah, there we have the buffer portion. Now articulation-wise, the articulation is the same as it was on Geese. We got the ball jointed head, wiggly waggly, up and down rotation. Not too much rotation, just due to the way everything kind of sits there. Ball joints here at the shoulders, rotation in and out. You got bicep rotation. You got the uh, double jointed elbow, but considering how bulky uh, the arms are here on the 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 uh, left side. You don't get too much range of movement. You get a little bit more on this side. Wrist rotation. Even the thumb moves on this side, but that's more for the transformation. Uh, you get waist rotation. You get, you know, if you unlock this, you can, un you know, get some waist rotation there as well. Uh, legs can move forward that far, back, not too far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, you got nice deep knee bend. You actually have a couple of joints here, but that just looks awkward, but you can use those joints if you want to. You have rotation here as well. And the feet slash hands are on a ball joint, so you have rotation up and down, tiltage, all that good stuff. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, for Buffa, we do get the Zombie Breaker. Again, just cast in purple. No paint on it, unfortunately, but lots of detail. All the detail that's supposed to be there is there. Just unfortunately, none of it picked out in paint. You do have a post here, so if you want to, you can store it right here at his side, like so. Or you can have him holding his weapon. It's kind of hard to get this in his hand. It resists. It resists. It's in there. There we go. So you can slash, 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 chainsaw, 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 and all that good stuff. You know, chainsawing, slash, slashing. That's what he does. That's what he does. Uh, for a quick comparison, here he is with Geats. Just so you can see those two together. Lovely. Now, if we want to say that uh, Tycoon got his hands on the zombie raised buckle and he's doing the... Uh, Revolve on, we can remove the helmet piece here. We'll just remove that helmet and we can put this helmet on and there you go. Now Tycoon has done the revolve change. You can do all that good stuff, mix and match. 
hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But we'll put Buffa's head back on. We'll leave this off for now. And uh, we will revolve change into Tycoon. So let's remove this. This thing is really stiff in his hand. Jeez. This piece likes to fall out also, which is a little annoying. You stay. You stay in your home. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, take this head, bring this out, take this head, and again, you can remove the helmet, make life a little bit easier. And bring this up. Now we're going to revolve. We do need to remove this piece. That's a separate piece. I need to go off to the side. And we can bring the arms down, rotate this out, rotate this out, bring up what will now be the foot. Again, you're just bringing things down and rotating things around. Bring that forward. That's going to become the foot now. And you want to take the thumb and swing it in like that. That becomes the other foot. And then we want to now rotate these sections in. And bring what will be the arm down. Rotate this out. Bring that down. Rotate this in you have this section here which is going to swing in bring that down and this little section here will also rotate up like that again rotate the arm out at the bicep bring that hand down and then bring tycoon's head up and you have the tab slot connections back here to lock all that into place thusly and we do have this extra piece here which gets tabbed onto the thigh. So that tabs on right there, like so. Then of course we bring in the helmet, and that just snaps right on. Get everything together, and see if we can get them standing. One thing about these figures is that they are a little bit hard to get standing. Oh, you also want to take this head here. Bring that up, tuck that head back, like that. The yeah, only thing about these figures is sometimes they're a bit hard to get to stand. But there we go. There we go. There we have Tycoon. And we'll get in close here so we can take a look at the noggin. There's the noggin. You can see some nice silver there for the helmet. That green, a little bit of red. Oh no, very nicely done. And again, if you want to see that buffer. Got his hands on the Ninja Rays buckle and he was doing the revolve change. You can totally do so. Just pop that on and voila, that's how he would look. And of course, you could probably plug this on here if you wanted to. Do as you wish. But there we go. But let's just, let, let's just be Tycoon for now. Good old Tycoon. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, isn't he? He's a wonderful guy. There you have Tycoon. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get the Ninja Dueler. For Tycoon here, again, nicely detailed, no paint, unfortunately. You can split this into its two separate components if you want to, and you have the posts, so if you want to just have these at his sides, you can do so. But me, personally, I just have this plugged into his hand in one piece, like so, for slash, 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 and lots of ninja dueling. Hey, things you can do. If you want to do it. And again, we'll bring in Geats. So you can see these two together. And of course, if you want to, you can mix and match all of this up. I'm not going to go through every single combo here. I'm not going to do all your playing for you, but I'll do uh, at least this. We can uh, take this apart here. And, you know, we can... Uh, have Magnum and a Zombie. We can have Magnum Zombie going on. And we can have Ninja Boost happening here. So that's a thing we can do. And again, you can uh, do a bunch of combos here. Do as you please. Do as you like. And that's definitely going to be the fun of this line. Is The more of these we have, the more combos we can do. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun, of course. Really, we need to, uh, you stand. You stand, Geats. Okay, you lay there. We should have this on here. That's where it needs to be. And again, sometimes these figures can be a little bit of a pain to get standing, because they do have little feet, and this big foot here <laughs> kind of makes it a little harder to get them to stand. There we go. There we go. But just, you know, 
two extra combos we can do here, but there's a lot more you can do. Now, one thing that does suck about this set is that you can only display either Buffa or Tycoon. You can't display them both on your shelf, but luckily, the Boost Striker does come with a blank torso, so we can at least for now display, you know, one of them on their own. And again, I always forget after have to undo that bit here, so we can actually have a proper tycoon on our shelf and I may have to buy another boost striker just so I can display buffa because I like to display these you know individually not have to pick and choose which one is on the shelf so at least for now you know we can do that but uh buffa is just going to be um half a torso for now so yeah I may have to buy another boost striker I may end up having to buy a bunch of boost strikers just so I can have the blank torso piece just so I can have um, all the writers displayed properly. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but you know, I'll 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 figure it out. I'll figure it out somehow. So there you go. So there you have the Buffa Tycoon set, and yeah, nice to finally have some more writers on the shelf from this series. Um, the one thing that sucks is that you have to pick either one or the other to have displayed. You can't display them both on your shelf, unfortunately. So that is a major downside, but again, you can remedy that if you have a boost striker and maybe just buy multiple boost strikers. So you can have that blank torso piece, um, pretty much the only way you can do it, as far as I know so far. But definitely love that we can do some more combos here, mix and match. That's going to be really fun. That's definitely going to be the fun of this series, and I definitely enjoy that. So there you go. Now I pick this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Geets items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Geets playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Common Writer Geats RCF Buffa and Tycoon set, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face. Hey, Buffa, you seen Tycoon around? Uh, Tycoon? No, no, I, I haven't seen him anywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. You you sure you haven't seen him? No, no, I haven't seen him. I, haven't seen, I gotta go now. See ya. Help me!